guys good morning welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking so it's the last day here in watamu and it's very very early in the morning i'm in the beach walking uh, it's about six so the reason why we wake up this early is because we were leaving watamu today and we are going back to nakuru but for me in my case i'm going separate separately i'm so i'm going back to mombasa first then catch up with the sgr and then go back to Nakuru oh go back to Nairobi then Nakuru you know? so yeah because I really can't stand the travel like traveling in a bus for like more than 15 hours I really can't stand that like I don't know I don't know but I really can't stand that you know so I just decided to use a private means go back to Mombasa first so from Watamu to Mombasa is like three hours so we came with three hours because the road is still under construction but mainly it's usually like two and a half hours from Watamu to Mombasa but then uh, because of the construction and stuff it's kind of delaying to three hours so I'm going back to Mombasa first then from Mombasa I'll get to stay in Mombasa for like two days because the SDR was fully fully booked like you guys I don't know I wish I had made this like decision early so the area is fully booked so the spot that i got is on friday and today is on monday so i'm staying in mombasa for a couple of days until friday that's when i'll get to travel back to nairobi and then yeah, from nairobi i'll travel to nakuru of course so that's so easy so my trip is still extending in mombasa i'm enjoying like everything is amazing thank god for this holiday or a trip i had really really I was really really uh, in need of this trip you know so I think I'm good to go to start the year well you know and uh, yeah so guys what do you think about the previous videos have you watched them drop a comment let me know in the comment section down below because hey, it's been crazy and then I didn't want to overwork myself because this was like a holiday mood I wanted to relax to just unwind you know and uh, thank god this trip is this trip was not expensive you know what uh, because Kenya Red Cross Youth so I'm part of Kenya Red Cross Youth and they organized like a camp you know so this camp is actually very cheap because we paid like 5,000 Kenya shillings for like five days so each day was a thousand bob imagine so what we had to do is just provide ourselves with transport to just arrive here in Watamu and then accommodation and food and everything was 5,000 Kenya shillings you see that's so cheap because Watamu is really really an expensive place because uh, because it's far you know it's far far away from Mombasa so yeah and then everything like from food from accommodation is really really expensive that's why uh, it was going to be an expensive trip minus Red Cross so all oh, thanks to Red Cross Kenya for doing this all right so guys yeah I'm walking along the beach uh, people are still parking because they are going with the bus my friends are going with the bus I'll be going alone uh, with the SGR so yeah that's what's up so this is the actual like ocean right now the tide is so low like you can walk up to that area so that you can get the tide you know yeah so this is pretty everything uh the coastline is like this pretty dirty but then the other the upper side is not that dirty yeah these are the boats you know so i'm planning to go on that edge to watch the sunset at least before breakfast is ready So one thing for sure I love about Otamu is that it's not congested. That's the one thing I love about Otamu. It's not congested like Mombasa. The beaches are so good. They're so clean. I think they're private owned. Like yesterday, there were a lot of guys here in the beach, but then it was not that congested as Mombasa. That's one thing I love about Otamu. One thing I don't like about it is that they don't have street food. Like along the beach, they, you can't find like the street food. like in Mombasa you know in Mombasa you can just walk and then get street food along the way like yesterday we had to go for snorkeling and you guys I was so so hungry that I was even getting weak you know so yeah that's one one thing I don't like about it but whenever you're going outside or whenever you're coming to a town make sure you prepare yourself with snacks you know that you can bite 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 because it's not easy here uh, but everything else is a plus 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 the weather is not that hot compared to Mombasa also and uh, People are so friendly here like I met a couple of people who are so so friendly and uh, I think I love them 
you know yeah so this is the ocean very early in the morning the ocean is still wild you can hear the sounds and everything oh my god this is so cool i wish i could be waking up every day with such a view such a sound you know oh my god this is so nice you guys hey sh this is so therapeutic also like the sound of the ocean hey sh guys hear that wow This is a dream. Imagine waking up every day with such amazing breeze. Ah, goodness. This is so breathtaking. And I'm all alone here. Like, there's no one here. You see? So, it's so amazing, you guys. Like, everything here is so perfect. The sunset is coming out. But I don't have... I won't have to wait for the sunset because, you guys, I'm getting late uh, for breakfast at the camp. Yeah. So, yeah, 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 yeah. This is so nice. Hey, Hey, sh drop a comment. Let me know what you think about this place, you guys. Like, for me, this is just the perfect, perfect place to be. So, whenever you you want a staycation, you want to stay, you want to unwind, you know, this place is totally uh, number one place to be. So, yeah, I don't know what you think. Uh, uh, please let me know in the comment section down below. It's so chill, so relaxed. Like, this is your perfect place for you to stay. Also, you guys, Watamu is so secure. One thing I love about it also is that it's so secure. Like, there's top-notch security here at the beach. Uh, because, like, during the New Year's Eve, there's, there were, like, millions of people here. Uh, no, like a thousand of people here. And it was really safe. Like, you could see police officers walking around, taking patrols, you know. And there were a lot of whites, you know. Like, it's so secure. I don't know about Mombasa that much because I've never been to Mombasa's beach uh, at night, you know. So, yeah, I don't know about Mombasa, but this place, what I really saw was so incredible because the security was high. That's one thing I love, you know. Like, right now, I can walk freely. There's no one really at the beach. Like, I went to the other side of the beach and nobody actually uh, came to disturb me or nobody came to steal from me. I know they can't do that, but I don't know. Maybe, I don't know, like, what do you guys think? I don't know, me for me, I feel I'm safe. Like, I'm free to do anything that I want to do. Like, that's a plus for me, you know? Yeah. Also, we went yesterday for snorkeling and there were a lot of guys, I don't know. Yesterday was like the first day of the year and uh, it was a holiday, public holiday in Kenya. So there were a lot of guys there. Uh, and yeah, the prices were fair. The prices of fair because for snorkeling we went for 1500 <laughs> that's like how many dollars that's like 15 dollars for snorkeling so i wasn't feeling that well but uh i just had to go and uh, explore the snorkeling so we saw the dolphins swimming uh we went and saw and saw the fish like swimming below us you know that was so incredible and yeah for a lot of hotels there's one over there across that edge it's called uh hemingway's watam oh that hotel is a five star hotel you guys it's so pretty like it's so so cool and uh yeah so accommodation is a perfect meal. i don't know about the prices though but uh i don't know like any other coastal region like beach view house is expensive so expect to pay more on that and yeah you see it's so cool these are like the nightclubs so during the night uh you could hear music singing and uh just everything just everything going on you know and i love this side because it's, this side is so calm the tide is slow right right now yeah so this is where we are staying 
also the beaches are clean because they are being cleaned by cleaners so the reason why we have this crystal clear white sand is because there are people who are cleaning the sand the beach actually so that gives it a plus like it's a public beach yes but then uh there are some guys who do like regular cleaning i don't know who pays them though i guess the hotel management but it's so clean like you see they're removing and then people are doing like morning runs and everything so yeah i'm gonna miss otamu bye bye the beach and yeah so that's it from you guys thank you so much for watching in case you love this video let me know in the comment section down below otherwise i've enjoyed staying here and everything is perfectly fine so let me know in the comment section down below what you feel about otamu and uh, i hope to see you next in my next video bye yeah,